Good morning from Flora's Garden. This is Stormy. It's whew, Friday, June 23rd. It's a wonderful, cool morning. And I just wanted to take you for a quick ride around. We just kind of got over our first heat wave of the summer. I want to show you. Boom! This zucchini that got out of control because we were not out here harvesting very much over the past few days. You know, zucchini will just get away from you if you let it. Uh, like I said, heat wave. 111 or something like that yesterday. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, got some serious watering going on. Uh, the plants actually look like they're doing okay. Um, the broccoli in here is starting to bolt. Uh, I got to spray it for aphids, but I think I decided to let it stay in here and go to flower. Bring in some more bees and some other pollinators. You can tell the kids haven't been out here because I actually have flowers on my, or blooms on my Gerber daisy plants because they usually just pick them right when they see them. Yeah. I mean really pleased with how well all of our plants are holding up and we got a little bit of like some crispiness right there uh, these yellow pear tomatoes were going sick even before the heat wave and I think I'm just gonna cut them out of there they're just covered in some kind of fungus I don't know I've never seen it before I'm assuming it's early blight never really had to deal with that before um, but, I mean, they were good tomatoes, but while they lasted. I don't know if I'm going to grow them again, though. Everything's doing great in here. I've actually been harvesting and freezing the kale into, like, pre-measured smoothie bags. Makes everything go a lot quicker when I'm hungry and I want to eat a smoothie. The sun sugar tomatoes here in the back, uh, I think, have become my favorite cherry tomato. They're delicious, and me and Flora will almost uh, fight over them. This bed is also producing the most cucumbers, which is nice. And this here, we have several eggplants already coming on, and that's exciting. I also harvested enough beans the other day, uh, these bush beans, for five pints of pickled green beans plus dinner. So that was nice. Hopefully this weekend I'll have another harvest just the same. I uh, haven't got any tomatoes out of here yet. And I don't want to get in there because I overwatered this bed earlier. But the uh, cabbage is getting pretty beat up over here. This bed here that I'm watering has some nice little heads of cabbage in there. And has really recovered from whatever pest damage that is. I'm assuming um, cabbage caterpillars and they've moved on to this bed. We've got tomatillos. I overwatered these yesterday and they perked up really nice like even that uh, volunteer squash. It's my morning coffee. Volunteer squash is putting out flowers. All of the Spinach in here bolted and is either died or gone to seed. I'm just gonna let it go That's kind of my style this year is just let it go <laughs> And tomatoes in the back row doing good standing up I'm surprised how many of these things still have flowers on them after the uh, heat wave Must be happy you see this bed, a lot of weeds are coming in. I gotta get in there and pull them all out. But we got radishes in here doing really well. Bush beans coming on. Uh, eggplants are doing okay, and the tomatoes too. The newest bed is this bed here with the corn in it. Now the corn is going, it's growing really good actually. I only put in a dozen. I'd like to put in some corn seed somewhere. It's supposed to have a nice fall, so I gotta plan ahead for that. But the tomatoes back here doing good. Peppers, flowers. 
I am just overjoyed with our Hoogl Mound this year and how much flowers, how many different kinds of flowers have come through. I've struggled in the past trying to grow flower from seed. I mean, look at these. I got poppies. I don't know what these are. Forget-me-nots or columbines or something. I think they're forget-me-nots. But these are just really interesting flower. And uh, the cosmos are doing great. Let's see. Love cosmos. They're really neat. The uh, morning glories are using the cosmos as a trellis. So they're kind of winding up and poking out. It's just so pretty. Oh, here's another one of those forget-me-nots. They're all fuzzy looking. They're really cute. Uh, it looks like our spaghetti squash got hit pretty hard. I did harvest some before the heat wave and it looks like I'm going to take a couple more out. I know they're probably still a little green but you know what they still taste really good and it'll give the vines hopefully some recovery time after that heat. I mean we're supposed to see like a 20 degree drop in heat today. It's only supposed to be like 90 and that's going to be nice. You can see this side of the Hoogle Mound and just so Ooh, lots of sun right there. So over the moon with how many flowers have come through. And I hope they go to seed and reseed themselves. And we just have this continuous, beautiful flowering mound. Hey, we have quite a bit of tomatoes coming on too, actually. I mean, lots of tomatoes. That's exciting. Alright, the watermelon compost mound thing is, uh, it's exploding with some growth in here. I'm trying to keep the vines kind of trailing away from the center so I can still hopefully get in there eventually and water. There's some volunteer Swiss chard in there. I bet it's delicious too. And we're starting to see some flowers on these watermelon vines, which I am really super happy about. Now, this one does not look like a watermelon. This might be a volunteer zucchini or something. There's a couple of them in there. But, you know, this year's kind of let it grow. Let's see what happens. Whatever it is, it's, they're really healthy. So I'm not complaining. I'm going to wrap this up here with the sweet potato squash barrel I have over here by the wood pile. So we got lots of growth on the sweet potato, which I'm excited about. I like the leaves in my smoothies. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are winter squash. They're already putting out tendrils. And that little volunteer tomato is still going strong. So, there we go. Uh, thanks for checking in. And uh, we will see you next time. Make a great day.